Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry about that. We had technical difficulties. Hello, guys. Happy Simply Stream Sunday. Everyone say thank you to Ben for just saving our lives and helping me figure out the camera because all of a sudden one of the cameras wasn't working. Is the mic? Yeah, the mic's on, right? You can hear me? I'll turn down uh, the music a little bit. Hello, everyone. Happy Simply Stream Sunday. It's the last day of the week, which means tomorrow's the first day of the week. Back to school, back to work, back to life. All sounds good? Great. Do we want to do we want to fit check? <laughs> What's on my shirt? Kiss my butt. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you a funny story since this is simply 90s style. Uh this is not my shirt. This is a uh, my grandfather's shirt <laughs> that's how old it is so i stole this giant shirt that used to be white but now it kind of looks yellow because <laughs> that's what happens when white clothes are 20 years old uh from my grandfather because i thought it was hilarious so he used to wear this because he was such a smart ass and he was always like kiss my ass type of humor you know because like that's just such a funny thing to say to people's kiss my ass <laughs> so i stole it from him when i was like 10 and I've kept it, I've kept it ever since. And uh, hold on one second, simply gonna switch to slow mode because you are too fast. Okay, you are too fast for me and I need to read. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Thank you for joining the stream. Hello to everyone who's here live and also hello to the Simply Late Gang. The Simply Late crew, who's here later watching this on their own time. It's all good. Whenever you want to watch, from wherever you want to watch, we are here. Simply Stream Logical. <laughs> okay, so back to my amazing fit. <laughs> you can't buy this anymore. It was limited edition from 1992, okay? Grandpa only. Um, I sold this from my grandfather when I was 10 because I thought I was such a smart ass and I wanted to wear this because, you know, this is just so indecent. <laughs> and proof that I stole it and I took it to camp is right here. Ready? Ready? It says my name. <laughs> my label. Because <laughs> if you recall, uh, on a Simply Podlogical podcast, we once uh, talked about how when I went to camp, it was just so funny that everyone had to tag all of their clothes with like a sewn in or ironed in label because when they were sent to get washed, uh, sometimes they got lost. So um, you'd have to like label your clothes to make sure that it would return back to you. So um, yeah, it's my shirt proof. <laughs> no one can steal my shirt. What do you mean who would want to steal that shirt? Everyone would want to steal this shirt, you know? It's dirty as hell, although it is clean. I did wash it since 1997. Um, yes, the shirt is hot. Oh, you guys like my necklace? Thanks. One of you sent it to me, to my PO box. Uh, I tried to find the tattoo choker, but I couldn't find one, so. Okay, I see everyone in the chat wanting to steal my shirt. You will not steal the shirt. I will not be listing it on eBay or Poshmark. It's mine. <laughs> I also see that our uh, our new moderator, Mr. Nightbot, who's an auto mod, is putting people in timeout. I don't know if that's for legitimate reasons or not, but I'm seeing Mr. Nightbot <laughs> put people in timeout. Maybe it's because you guys are saying kiss my ass. I don't know. I apologize if that's why because we're gonna have to to retrain him Yeah, so apologies if you're getting if you're getting the axe because of Nightbot, uh, we'll have to go back in and fix that but trial and error This is the first stream with mr. Nightbot So far he's he's being a little he's being a little mean 
He's so sassy. Look, he says, you have to let it go. Stop spanning. Spanning. <laughs> Nightbot. Nightbot, <laughs> calm down. Um, Marie says, the lighting looks oodles better. Thank you. We're trying to figure it out. I have some more lights around my face and then we've changed the background lights to hopefully not make that strobing effect. And I think the strobing effect is just related to the color, which is so weird. Cause when I had it more pink, you'd see more strobe and now it's like teal and you see less strobe. So I, I don't understand it, but you know, we're just gonna listen to it. Oh, so apparently Nightbot is timing you out for excessive emojis, which is bullshit. Cause I love the tacos. So we're gonna have to figure that out. So just use like three emojis. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what the max is, but. <laughs> All right, so today on the agenda, we're gonna do our nails 90s style. Uh, I don't think I can disable Nightbot Ben, who is asking me. I don't know how because I don't have him on this computer. He's on my other computer, which I could have logged you into, but it's too late. Unless, Ben, you want to go on my other computer and disable him. Okay, yeah, he's being a dick. Ben, you want to go on my other computer? I think it's still open in my browser. Damn, this auto mod was unnecessary. I re I'm really sorry, guys. It's really annoying. You do not deserve timeouts. Someone is being a little too strict. What? Look at what he, what he writes. You're on my naughty list. What is this? I did not set that up. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, yeah, Ben, I, I can't disable it from this computer. So you need to go on the other computer. All right, back to the today's agenda. Well, hopefully Ben can help me figure that out. Uh, we're gonna do some 90s style nail art. Did you guys see the Simply video from yesterday? The one where I uh, followed the nail art book. Who remembers these? Leave a one in the chat if you had this book in your childhood. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of ones in the chat. Which book though? No, <laughs> they're the same Which I found out. Yes, I saw in your comments uh, on Simply's on my Simply video that Second or third or tenth editions do exist and that does mean in the book world that only the cover changes <laughs> I, know, I just forgot about it <laughs> But I don't know I just thought that uh, buying two different books with two different covers on Amazon would result in two different books with two different types of content, but I was wrong. Anyways, we're gonna do some more nail art from these books. Uh, are these books a Canadian thing? I don't think so. Cause on the back I see US prices and Canadian prices. Yeah, Klutz was like a pretty big company. They'd made toys, they had like friendship bracelets and like GIMP, does anyone remember GIMP? It's another type of uh, friendship bracelet but it's using like a plastic. No, no one remembers that? Yes, you do. Okay, I'm definitely seeing some of you guys remember that. I tried to look for a friendship bracelet that I made years ago and I, I know I still have it in this house somewhere because I tucked it away in a drawer, but then I, I couldn't find it. So I'm gonna look harder next time. Rainbow Looms, yeah, Rainbow Looms. I guess like it's not exactly GIMP, but GIMP was another very similar thing. Boondoggle, yeah, that was another word for GIMP. <laughs> I used to do a lot of those types of bracelets uh, at camp. Hello everyone who's just joining in. Oh, unpin the technical difficulties. Yes, thank you guys. Thank you for moderating me. <coughs> All right, so before we paint our nails again with some 90s styles, I'm gonna expose myself and show you guys some pictures of me from the 90s. Just like two pictures, but I have uh, some stuff here.
What do you think? This is me and my sister. So I had this picture in my video for like two seconds that I don't think many people noticed, but I did post it on Twitter too. So uh, let's go over the fit. This, this was our brand new scanner. I think this picture was like 1999, maybe the year 2000, maybe it was Y2K. I, I can't remember completely because there's no date on this because I scanned this at some point much later in time with my scanner, okay? How's that for Inception? I scanned this picture with this scanner to upload it for you today. <laughs> Why are you presenting a picture? So I think this was mine and my sister's birthday present. Like that, I, that's what my memory tells me. Uh, our birthdays are pretty close together, like a month apart. So we'd have a family birthday party, uh, just, just one of them at the same time. And I'm pretty sure that, that we got this scanner, which was a huge deal back in the 90s because there was no way to get pictures that were only uh, developed by like whoever would develop the film pictures like at the drugstore or the photographer, local photography shop. You would have no way of getting those pictures on the internet. And I always wanted to email my pictures to my friends or family or I wanted to, uh, you know, have them on my computer so I could make a word perfect collage out of them f for uh, school, for like a project, or just set your MSN profile picture if you wanted a picture of yourself. So there was no way to get pictures on your computer unless you scanned the physical printouts. So having a scanner was like, I thought I was so cool. So I looked it up and scanners around this time cost like $400, which is ridiculous, uh, <laughs> which is why this was a really big deal for my sister and I and our family. But it was like our feature birthday present that year. And you can see the happiness in my face. Like, look at this little bit. She's like, yes, I'm gonna scan you, bitch. Would you like a scan? I didn't let her use it. I was like, you know what, Jen? Scanner's mine. <laughs> and we can't uh, ignore my fashion. Let's, let's take a look. We've got the curly hair updo check. We've got the diamond drop earring. We've got a missing tooth, because I guess I was like 12. How old do you lose your teeth until? I think I'm wearing eyeshadow. Does it look like I'm wearing like baby pink or baby purple eyeshadow? <laughs> a choker necklace. I remember this one too. It was like light purple mesh so you could see through it and then it had purple beads on it. So cool. I did not have butterfly clips in this picture, but I wore them all the time and I wish I could find a picture of myself, but the truth is I don't really have that many pictures of myself from the 90s. This one my sister scanned and sent to me. That's why it's called like Gen 03 because she found it somewhere and sent it to me. Ah, the velvet fit, okay? Look at this, full full body. I don't have any lower, but full body velvet, two piece, purple crushed. Oh, look at that slit in the three quarter arm. That was the shit, man. <laughs> it was actually a two piece. It was a shirt and then a skirt and you had to be matching. It had to be velvet, it had to be purple. Uh, I was wearing an Iron Man watch, which was all the rage. And what's on my nails? <laughs> this is like the, this is the most embarrassing part because it kind of looks like I have chipped nail polish here. Look at that chip and chip, but at least I was trying. I wish I had pictures of me with nail art books from the olden days, but uh, I can't seem to find any. Now let's check out my sister's outfit, which is not fair because she's not here, but that's fine. Let's let's critique. So she's got a down, her hair is down. Uh, is that a middle part? <laughs> yeah. And she's got one of those silver, shiny, like shimmery shirts that were really uncomfortable to wear. Has anyone ever worn those? I definitely wore shirts like this too. It was awful, but you know, you had to do it for the pictures that you scanned, not the gram because there was no Instagram. 
but do it for the family photos. <laughs> so scandalous, she's showing a little bit of skin. Come on, Jen, weren't you like 10? <laughs> she probably had an Iron Man watch too. So yeah, that's us and our Cano Scan N34 before Canon was a major uh, photography company. I don't know, was scanners their prime? Yeah, imagine my sister's watching right now. She doesn't know I'm doing this because <laughs> I cut her out of the photo when I put her in my main channel video. But So we are going to be painting our nails today. We're going to do stuff from the nail art book, but I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse into 90 Simply. And I have one more picture to share because uh, look at my friendship bracelets. Does anyone remember this? phase of their lives if you're as old as I am you wear like 16 different friendship bracelets whether or not you had 16 friends I don't know like I definitely didn't but <laughs> I made myself my own friendship bracelets but uh, I was one of those girls who went through a phase where I just had endless amounts of bracelets this isn't even the best example it's just the only picture I could find and it's so blurry I probably scanned this with my scanner and didn't increase the DPI yeah, this was a picture that was scanned. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this was camp. Oh yeah, my friend also had a bunch of bracelets on. And look at my blue eyeshadow. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing like blue Caboodles mascara there. Oh, I remember that. All right, so there you go. Simply from the 90s exposed probably late 90s, more like early 2000s. I do have way more pictures from my commercial days, but I figure maybe that's like another stream. Like maybe if we wanna do a, re a reacting to my olden days commercials, if you guys remember, I did commercials from when I was eight to 13 years old. And I do have pictures and video of that, obviously. I know we, I kind of showed that in a video on this channel several years ago, but I haven't really given much detail about that. So I thought maybe one day we'll do that on a stream. So let me know in the chat or down below in the comment section of this video, if you want me to react to my old commercials as a child. So if you're watching this video later, definitely let me know in the comments because it's easier for me to check the comments after the live stream is over. But today, we're gonna paint our nails. I hope you came naked. <laughs> All right, so. The only tools we need today are patience and an optimistic outlook on life, just like a child. <laughs> so you guys saw on, um, sorry, Ben is distracting me. Oh, Ben, I just realized, can you get me some toothpicks? We're going to need toothpicks. So I'm going to paint my nails another design from this book that I didn't do in my Simply video because based on your comments, you guys had some suggestions about what else I could do that I just didn't have time to. But I thought it would be more fun to kind of do this live and explore the book and just reminisce over what it was like to be a simple 90s kid. The top comments I saw about what I missed that I could have done was definitely the snake and the tea girl. So here's uh, the tea girl. Well, she's, her nails aren't really tea though. It's like a flower vine. But there's probably a teacup example somewhere in here. And then there's the snake girl. Who had this book? Thank you, Ben, we've, we've got toothpicks now. Comment a one in the chat if you had this book. <gasps> Th 
There's the snake girl. Okay, everyone had this book confirmed. So here's the snake that she painted on her toes, which was honestly not a trend I ever saw in the 90s. <laughs> but I'm into it. So I'm thinking we paint the snake on our nails and then also incorporate the, the tea. But I'm kind of wondering if there's an example of tea here. Also, does anyone recognize this girl? I cut it out of my video because I kind of went on a tangent. But, uh, see, see this girl right here? I swear I saw her in so many, like, Gap or Ralph Lauren or Polo ads or Polo Sport or something. I feel like she was a famous child billboard girl back in the day. But I couldn't figure out who she was. And I even tried to Google reverse image search <laughs> to find her. But I couldn't find her. It's upside down? Oh, yeah. Sorry. This girl. She looks so familiar to me, but I don't know why. So did someone graduate with her? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna do snakes, and then I'm also gonna, oh, there's a tea, but that's like a tea kettle. Is there a tea cup? Peace on earth. Sorry guys, Nightbot's kind of being a little bitch. Okay, I'm looking for tea there. Okay, there's a little tea mug. Let's start with the snake. Oh, you guys are asking what's on my other hand. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hold on a second. Let me see if this works. What's on my other hand? Okay. <laughs> did that work? <laughs> did you hear the music or did only I hear the music? So, oh yes, I shall explain. Um, this is a new creme that will be coming out very soon, in just a couple days. Should I expose it? I'm gonna expose it because it's it's so soon. <laughs> Here you go. This lighting actually makes it look way yellower than it, it is in real life. Because my light is quite yellow. Let me see if I can change that. There, that's a little bit more. There we go. Why? I don't know why it was like that. So it's like a hot coral. It's more neon in real life. There. Okay. Yeah. Here. See how much? See how much of a difference it makes? Like this light, for some reason, because there's so much light, because I have like a lamp right here, it almost makes it more faded. But when I go to uh, just this camera, it's brighter. Like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Oh, sorry. Uh, when's it coming out? This is a new creme coming out with a couple more cremes this week. Just a small little creme drop. And do, do you guys want a shade name? I'm waiting for the chat. This is a 10 second delay. Okay, you say yes. The floor is guava. When your nails are so hot that the floor is guava, you better be careful. Okay, there you go. That's all you get. The Holo Taco team is uh, is is now getting mad. No. <laughs> All right, so we're doing snake nails today. 
That's all the sneak peeks you get. Don't tell anyone. Just pretend this isn't live. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys like my shade naming abilities. Because the floor is lava, but now it's guava. Get it? <laughs> okay. uh, Adelaide Molitz says, Can you dedicate the snake nails to my ex-friend? That's a wonderful idea, Adelaide. Let's do that. Okay, Adelaide's ex-friend. These snake nails are gonna be for you. <laughs> there you go. So this is what we're gonna be doing today, class. We're gonna do snake nails. And in the spirit of little children's nail art, I found that a lot of their nail art, they just uh, tend to put the nail art right over top of their naked nail. I don't know why, but like 90% of the pictures have them doing so over top of naked nails. It's like they don't know how to paint a base coat on underneath. Like, look at that. I don't know, maybe it looks more natural. Does it look more natural to do that or something? Are like parents worried that if your child paints uh, their nails completely, that it's, it's like too much, too, it's too old for them? <laughs> Anyways, I find it interesting though how kind of a naked nail trend has come back into style. So these days you will see this negative space design. I think that's what people use to uh, call it these days, where there's only a little bit of nail art over top of a naked nail. That has that has come back into style. So we're, we're gonna do that. But my nails are yellow as hell. Not that that's a bad thing as we've been over many times on this channel, but I'm gonna zoom into my butt. <laughs> okay, stop moving around. It could also be that people were just too lazy to apply a base coat, and so they just painted the nail art. I'm too opposite, I'm too lazy to do the nail art. Yes, this is my fancy Holo Taco desk. It's just a mouse pad. It's not to uh, see. So it's actually not good if I get stuff on it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be working with acrylic paints to do my snake nails. Here's what we're gonna do today. I've got some nail art brushes. Now, I don't think there were nail art brushes specifically for nail art back in the 90s, but people would just use brushes from the paint store. At least that's what I, I used to do. So if you have some nail art brushes, uh, you could use those or just regular paint brushes. It really doesn't matter. I think a nail art brush these days, they just use it to refer to a brush that is acetone resistant. Uh, meaning that it won't disintegrate when in nail polish remover. Then we have some toothpicks to pick your teeth with. And then we have some acrylic paint. So I have a few colors here and I've talked about acrylic paint once on the stream but I wasn't demoing it at the time. But I think acrylic paint is such an easy way to paint cool designs on your nails that are detailed. And uh, it's a lot easier to paint with acrylic paint usually than nail polish because it's thinner, it's more forgiving, um, and it goes on a bit smoother in a way, and you can do more detailed stuff. But the, it only really applies if you're painting tiny detail. If you're trying to paint your entire nail one color or do gradients or you want hollow or you want it to sparkle, then acrylic paint is not really the solution. But I find a lot of really talented freehand nail artists who are painting like a portrait or a detailed stick figure or like a cat face will will actually use acrylic paint. Uh, when did my parents start letting me paint my nails as a kid? I don't like, I don't know. 
I don't think there was ever a moment where they weren't letting me. Like, I don't ever remember them telling me no. I remember them telling me no makeup, for sure. <laughs> like, in grade school. I had to wait till grade 8 to start wearing makeup. But I don't remember anyone ever telling me I wasn't allowed to paint my nails. I just remember, generally speaking, that it wasn't as common. Uh, and that my friend's parents told them they weren't allowed to paint their nails. But I was never outlawed from painting my nails. Because my parents were very modern in the 90s, letting their child paint their nails. Oh my god, look how I turned out. <laughs> the risks parents take, huh? So, along with our acrylic paints, I use a yogurt lid. I just want some ASMR. <laughs> because, um, a yogurt lid is great to clean off. I just rinse it with water after this and I can put the paint on it and not mess up my mouse pad because this is a mouse pad. It's not a nail art pad and yes, well, I can't flip it over now because there's paint, but it is a, it's a Greek yogurt lid. Greek yogurt, if, if that matters. It's very important. So I have some green here. Oh my God, I did not shake that. Look, look at that. This is what happens when you don't shake your acrylic paint. Fun fact, this is how I make my uh, drip marble art. You know, when you guys see the hollow taco uh, nail polish that's dripping down. I I often put it in a yogurt lid and then go like this so it drips down and I record it. <laughs> and then I'll like flip it back and go the other way. But we're not doing that today. We are painting our nails. Green because snakes are green. So if you refer to the the kids textbook page 17 we have a forest green snake. I see it has some dots, and then it has a long ass tongue. And remember, we're painting this for Adelaide's ex-best friend. This one goes out to you. Shout out to Adelaide and her family. Come on, let me clear my space. What about hollow snakes? Yeah, I know, right? There, there's no hollow in that book. It's kind of sad. Don't worry, we'll make it hollow. Hollow from Ontario. Hollow Oreo of doom. One brush is facing the wrong way. Oh my God, I'm so sorry about that. Actually, we're gonna remove it because it's not even the right color. Aesthetic is all wrong. There, wait. <laughs> is this more satisfying? <laughs> What? There's a menchie hair. <laughs> uh, do any of your coworkers watch my videos? Good question. I don't know. It's fucking weird though. <laughs> I just try not to think about it. Like I'm aware that thousands of people watch my videos simply or these live streams. There's like 4,000 people watching this right now. And I have no idea if one of them are my coworkers, if one of them's uh, someone I knew from high school or from camp or from, you know, the olden days, from the 90s. Like, what if there is someone from the 90s literally watching this? Time travel. No. Uh, I just try not to think about it. Because if I think about it too hard, then I'm, I want to run and hide. So we're not going to do that. Anyways. Are we, okay, yeah, so sorry, let me clarify. Uh, my nails right now have smoothing base coat on. I will just show, I'll show you that. So I'm already prepped wearing smoothing base because it just smooths out my nails and I figured that if we're gonna paint over naked nails, you can use something like smoothing base to even out the base color of your nails. So for me in particular, my nails are quite yellow and they're stained kind of from the middle 
part of the nail up. So you can use smoothing base to even out the color and also just to fill in any ridges or gaps. I find because I have eczema and I'm really like rough on my nails because I'm constantly peeling them off and constantly changing them for testing and taking swatch pictures, that smoothing base definitely helps kind of restore the evenness. It's almost like a, a BB cream for your nails, you know? It's like a foundation, but it's like sheer. So that's why they kind of look naked, but then they also look painted. So that's my compromise for having naked nails. So we're just gonna paint a snake right over this. How's that, huh? I love how you say eczema. 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 Eczema? <laughs> Hold on. This is dangerous. I just needed the snake book. <laughs> so I'm purposely not doing a base coat because I'm trying to copy the girl's picture and we're gonna paint a snake. A slithery ass snake. Yes, I know you guys say eczema. Oh, you want me to say crown? Crown, oh shit. <laughs> no, this is a catch simply in a, uh, a world she doesn't understand. Yes, I don't know how to say crown, cray, crayon. It's just so weird. I feel like I've always said crown, even though it's crayon, I'm aware. Anyways, let's stop making fun of Simply. Blame the 90s. Okay, gotta, I gotta paint a snake, leave me alone. Uh, instructions say make a dot of green paint on your nail for the snake's head. Well, instead of a dot, we're just gonna do this. Sorry, the autofocus is sucks. Yeah, I don't know what to do, Ben. We might have to manual focus. Ben, do you wanna come help me? <laughs> ben is my moderator, but also my cameraman and also everything. Yeah, it keeps trying to focus on this hand. It's, that's really annoying. <sighs> Wait, so if I do this, hold on. Will that change? <gasps> we did it. Never mind, Ben. <laughs> okay, we're painting a snake across the nails. Does anyone remember when that whole shit with Taylor Swift happened and everyone was just putting a snake emoji everywhere? I, what the hell, man? The internet is awful. So what I want, oh, of course, now it's gonna fuck with me. There we go. What I want is the snake uh, tail to connect across the nails. So I'm gonna put a little mark here because that's where it's gonna uh, continue on the next nail so it's gonna be like a continuous snake what up swifties i see some swifties in the chat Ben loves Taylor Swift. I'm, I'm exposing him.
My favorite Taylor Swift song is uh, the one with Bon Iver. Just because I really love Bon Iver. Also, a fun fact about Taylor Swift is uh, she claimed one of my videos. Well, not her personally, but like her record company. Many years ago. Bad Blood, if you recall. Cause now we got bad blood. Na, 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 na. Yeah, that song. So I included like seven seconds of her song and turned it into a parody, as in I dubbed over it and sang different lyrics. But I did use part of her music video in my lesson there. I never, never used her music again. <laughs> I never sang a Taylor Swift parody ever again. It's kind of sad. But she was known during that era to be very much like she went after everyone who like even uttered the words of her songs. So, you know, I didn't want to risk anything further. So I basically never talked about her again on YouTube. <laughs> I just saw um, it said OBS disconnected and then reconnected. Sorry, we're making sure the technical diff- It says the stream is glitching. Some people are commenting. What is going on here? It's Taylor Swift. <laughs> Thanks for the tea, Ben. But yes, Ben brought me tea. We're just cursed with all the technical issues because the year is 1992 and we're on dial-up internet. Anyone remember that? I'll remind you. I'm going to sing. Here, I'll give you a parody. Ready? Does anyone remember connecting to the internet like this? Do, 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 do. <laughs> there you go. Dial up internet, everyone. We hate it, but we loved it. And then we had to yell at our parents to get off the phone, mom. I'm trying to talk to my friends. When you're in the middle of a really good conversation uh, with your friends on MSN Messenger, and then your, your parents pick up the phone and break your internet connection, it's like the worst thing ever. Ben is handing me Kleenex because I need to blow my nose. <laughs> Blow your Wait, nose. no, my nails! <laughs> my nails, or what? Just blow your nose for you. <laughs> ben! You're gonna blow your nose. Blow Help! Your nose. <laughs> now blow? Help! <laughs> He's making me stream. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> the tea! I don't know what this is. <laughs> Guys, help me. <laughs> my eyes are watering because of the rashes. Where's my glasses? That's what I was putting on my glasses because I need to see. I'm just kidding. I can see fine. <laughs> <laughs> AOL was my bitch, okay? As I was saying. Dial up. That's my bestie. Okay, where were we? We were painting snakes. Oh, I loved ICQ too. Do you remember ICQ? Okay, wait, hold on. Now we have to go back. Th this was ICQ, ready? I was actually a little young for ICQ. I feel like that was a couple years past me. We were already on MSN Messenger by the time I was uh, trying to chat with my friends on the internet. 
So when working with acrylic paint, if your paint's getting kind of dry or your paintbrush is getting a little stickly, I find just having a cup of water around and adding some water all of a sudden kind of restores it. And there you go. It's very easy. Oop. Very easy to get the brush back working, especially if you're kind of delayed like me and you're getting easily distracted by things. Oh, you guys remember getting AOL discs in the mail? I know, right? I was, funny enough, I was just watching a YouTube video about the history of AOL. <laughs> it was called like the downfall of AOL, the biggest internet uh, empire or something. And they they went through the entire history of AOL that uh, how they, they really like rose to fame and got all their subscribers by sending out free discs. So people would install like a, AOL by using a CD-ROM in their computer. And that's how people installed things back in the 90s and the 2000s was from a CD-ROM. <laughs> yeah, now no one uses those. Now we only look at CDs because they're hollow. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> KP says, anyone else ever, ever get an AOL disc from McDonald's? I totally did. I, used, I feel like I got AOL discs with like Scholastic subscriptions, magazine subscriptions. Anyone remember floppy disks? Can I get a, a one in the chat if you're also painting your nails with me on this stream? It's okay if, if you're not. It's okay if you just want to chill and you know, you just want to relive the nostalgia in your mind without actually doing it on your nails. But give me a one in the chat if you're painting your nails, 90s style or otherwise, it's whatever you feel like. You can use hashtag paint with simply on social media so I can check out your nails after the stream. If Nightbot was working, it would tell you that in the chat. But thank you, Ben, for chatting that out. The other good thing with acrylic paint is that you can easily scratch it off your skin which is a bit trickier to do with nail polish because the nail polish kind of sinks into your skin, if that makes sense, and then you need acetone. Basically, if I were doing the same thing with just green nail polish, it would be trickier because I couldn't keep going over the same section multiple times without it kind of picking the polish up or getting too thick. but acrylic paint is quite flexible for that. All right, so let me just see how my snakey's looking. <laughs> so I'm gonna connect him here. And then he's gonna come back up and stick his tongue out. So we're gonna paint a tongue next. What's the weather like where you guys are living currently? It's hot as hell where I am and I'm wearing this sweatshirt. It was like, feels like 35 degrees. Oh, 35 degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know. What is 35 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? You're all saying 80, 100 F. I don't know what that means. It sounds too hot. <laughs> I only speak Canadian temperatures.
I barely go outside though, so like the weather even matters. <laughs> All right, we're gonna paint the snake's head. With a circle. Um, any further instructions from the book? <laughs> it just says, Make a white dot for the eye, yada yada. Okay, we'll do that next. I need to leave, don't forget to leave room for the tongue though, cause you want a, a long tongue so it can slither. Anita says, I'm gonna be a 32 year old lady tomorrow. Happy early birthday, welcome to the club. Being a 32 year old lady isn't so bad. This is what we do on Sunday night. It's not a school night when you're 32. It's a work night. <laughs> Even better not. All right, so shall we paint the head of the snake? Okay, before we do, I'm just gonna touch up my snake. I think some of the the body of the snake needs to be a little bit thicker. We want our snake nice and thick. Yes, the thumb. Uh, you'll see what we're gonna do on the thumb. I'm not I'm not done yet, Mom. Sorry if I made it so you cannot see. I really want to get some kind of AI intelligence that can read out comments while I'm painting because it's very hard for me to read a chat and paint. But so far, Mr. Nightbot, the, the, I, this AI has been terrible. We do not stand him. <laughs> How, oh, I have a question. How old were you when you got your first cell phone? That'll tell us how old you are now, kind of. Because if you say, <laughs> well, actually not necessarily, but it's like a proxy for that question. So your first cell phone meaning like your own personal cell phone. So I was, hmm, I was in high school and I remember being told I had to wait until high school. So I must have been 13. Yeah, I was 13. So I'm seeing a lot of people also say 12 or 13. A few people are saying 16. Some are saying 19. Your 30s, that's an outlier. Just anecdotally, it looks like the most common one is 12 to 13. We actually talk about this in our next podcast episode on Simply Podlogical, which will go up on Taco Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time slash 8 a.m. Pacific. There was a question. Uh, we did an Am I the Asshole answering question series on our podcast about like a parent who wouldn't give their kids a cell phone, but their kid was like 17, one of her kids anyways. So we, we talk about that. Oh, no. Got the paint on. Oh, you cannot see it. But yeah, I was 13. Hold on. Let's talk about this with my full face for a second. I was 13 when I got my first cell phone, and that would have been in the 2000s. I can't do math on the spot. Uh, but I remember being told I had to wait until that age because I only got it once I was in high school. Because once you're in high school, 
it wasn't my parents picking me up from school anymore. Uh, friends were going to start to drive within like a few years or people were going other places after school. So that was kind of, it was more like a safety reason why I was given a cell phone rather than a, oh, you're old enough to use a cell phone. It was more like my parents needed a way to contact me because they were at work or whatever. And I needed to call them after school if like the bus didn't come or something because I didn't live close to school at all because um, I went to French Immersion, so they were further away. So I was given a cell phone mostly as a safety reason and it wasn't a phone you could do much on. Like there was no internet on my phone. So therefore no social media. Uh, but it was really only useful for calling people and maybe texting. Although texting was like terrible because it, it was like this. Ready? Look what I have. Does anyone remember this? <laughs> like a beauty girl showing off her goods. Ooh, what is that? Here we have my old ass flip phone. This was not my original phone. This is actually my work phone, ironically. I, I don't know why it's this piece of garbage. I still never replaced it. Uh, but among my first phones was a Nokia. But this was like, this looks very similar to what the first phones were. There was a camera, but it was like garbage. And the pictures were so laggy if you tried to take a picture. I don't even think this turns on anymore. This was your first phone? Oh my God. Hello? Is my dream crush there? Hello? <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, the only thing my Nokia phone could do when I first got it was play Snake. Does anyone remember Snake? Hey, Snake! <laughs> wow, look at that. The universe is just lining up about snakes today. So I played Snake on my Nokia while waiting for my parents to pick me up, probably or while I was bored in class, and then your teacher would yell at you to put away your phone. But you couldn't actually do much on your phone other than call people or text, and texting looked like this. So if you wanted to press the letter F, you had to press three, three times to get to the F. <laughs> in other words, it took a long ass time to send a text. So texts were just like, BRB, got to go or call me. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like there's a there's a huge different decision uh, these days about when when to give your kids a phone because like these days phones have can do so many more things than a phone could do when I was 13. So all I could really do was like call my friends, call my parents, barely text. There was no internet for a while. But yeah, history lesson with Simply. And that was the 90s. Eventually I did get a Blackberry, but that was more like university. You were so cool if you had a Blackberry. And then no one knows what a Blackberry is anymore. The company just went. I like how everyone in the chat is just reminiscing about which phones they had. Nokia 3310, yes! I had a Nokia that lit up too. That like, <laughs> did anyone get those inserts where you put inside the clear Nokia case where the, the lights would light up in accordance with the sound of the ringtone and it was just like jam out to whenever someone would call and then we would just call each other's phones on purpose just so we can watch the lights dance. I mean, I was always obsessed with neon lights. Yeah, how, how did they do that? I wish I understood it, it's so cool. All right, back to painting. All right, we've got the base of the snake down. Now we're gonna give him a tongue and some eyes. All 
Oh no, it's my acrylic paint dried up. <laughs> ah! Oh fuck! Oops! Did I do that? Too much! We're also gonna need some white. And some black. It's a, it's a new bottle. I'm gonna have to open it though. Okay, I can't open it with wet nails. So we're just gonna. Oh god! <laughs> Help! <laughs> I need parents. <laughs> I'm making a mess. It looks like a tomato, yeah. See, I did that on purpose. I was always an artist. The book everyone check your homework our homework says uh... oh that's the reason parents wouldn't let their kids paint because of the mess I mean like yes if you're six years old but when you're 12 you're not you're not that much of a mess right like you know what you're doing I mean you still make a mess when you're 32 years old <laughs> Uh, so we've got to paint a line of green across from the head, blah, blah, blah. We already did that. Make a white dot for the eyeball with a smaller black, black dot in the center. Sorry, I'm reading upside down now. <laughs> and then use a toothpick to paint a red tongue. Yes, the book did recommend laying down a newspaper. I know, I disobeyed. Fire me. Put me in timeout. Send me to my room. Ground me for the week. Let's just put this here. How's that? Did anyone ever get grounded? Confess in the chat. Tell me what you did wrong. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys confess first before I confess, so... Spill it. Spill it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to read the worst ones. Ready? <laughs> you got your door taken off the hinges. Stephanie, what did you do? <laughs> Some people have never been grounded. Must be nice to be a perfect angel. Can't relate. My parents don't know what grounded means. Well, lucky for you. <laughs> I was grounded for a whole year. Miranda. I had a boyfriend my mom didn't know about. <laughs> a whole year. That seems a little, that seems a little harsh. Uh, Emily says she tricked her sister into filling her pants with rocks. I mean, like, that's hilarious. Grounded because you spoke to a boy. <laughs> yeah, I could we could make a whole podcast out of are my parents the asshole for grounding me for this particular reason? I broke my sink and it flooded my entire kitchen. Lauren! <laughs> I mean, was it an accident or was it on purpose? Because if it was an accident, then you shouldn't be grounded. You should just, you know, learn how to not break the sink next time. I didn't clean my cat's litter box. Now I never forget Emily. <laughs> I never clean the litter box either. I let Ben do it. <laughs> now he's gonna ground me. Skipped school with some boys. 
shaved my cousin's mustache. I mean, these all sound like regular things that teenagers do that I did. Well, I don't have a cousin's mustache to shave, but I do have Ben's mustache to shave. Ben, I'm gonna shave your mustache. Don't ground me, hmm? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna paint the snake's um, slither tongue with some red. I just love how everyone's confessing the worst things they've done in high school or grade school or middle school. Your parents are watching, as in me and Ben. <laughs> You ate soap. <laughs> Don't eat the soap. There's the tongue. <laughs> I skipped school when I was 15 to see a 25 year old boy. Oh, I'm not gonna comment on that one because that actually sounds bad. But he should have been grounded, not, not you, because you were 15. <laughs> I tricked my brother into getting sprayed in the face by the hose, it was hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do an eyeball. Actually, hold on. I should practice with the 90s preach and use a toothpick for that. So toothpicks are great for like single dots, not painting the snake. The, painting the snake would have been impossible with, with a toothpick, but we had limited resources in the 90s. Barely had the internet, you know? Had terrible cell phones. It was, it was a rough time. But this is perfect for the eyeball of the snake. And to give this snake more dimension, because you see how in her picture on her toes, it doesn't have any spots, but here it does. So I actually think like, you know, to give the snake a little bit of dimension, we should give it some spots. What I'm gonna do is mix the acrylic paint together. So yes, this is all still acrylic paint. Is I'm gonna take some black acrylic paint, and mix it with the green. This is another advantage to working with acrylic paint, is that you can very quickly just kind of blend on your yogurt lid colors together to get the exact shade you want. And they take a long time to dry. Like nail polish will dry up faster than acrylic paint usually. As long as there's like a lot of it, like t the amount of red, which is way too much than I needed, but. It's easy to get the acrylic paint going again if you just add a tiny bit of water. So I'm just making a slightly darker green so I can give my snake some spots. Did you ever have a pager? No, Angel, I did not have a pager. I think I was a little too young for a pager. Like pagers were a, uh, a little before my time. I remember other people having them, but I did not. Cutie. Okay, now let's paint the thumbnail. And I think what I'm gonna do is give it a, a teacup. So let's check in with my manual focus camera. 
Here we have Mr. Snake. <laughs> and I'm gonna paint a, a teacup on my thumb so he drinks the tea. Oh, are we still sharing why we got grounded? <laughs> Have I been grounded? Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes, I have. Very briefly, though, because I kind of pointed out to my parents that it was pretty dumb to ground me. <laughs> I was a huge smartass, hence uh, this shirt, loving this shirt. But yeah, when I was 16 and I was driving, or maybe, yeah, it must have been 16. It was the last year of high school. But I had my license and I was at a friend's and I was, I stayed too late, later than I said I would be home. And I remember my parents uh, like waiting up for me. <laughs> but I fell asleep <laughs> and I guess I wasn't answering my phone. I swear to God, I fell asleep but I guess they thought the worst of me that I was like out drinking or something. And obviously I was not cause I was driving, um, but they were just freaking out and uh, they were waiting up for me. And when I came home and apologized that I didn't realize that I'd stayed up <laughs> or that I would felt fallen asleep while they stayed up, uh, they took my car keys away. But the car keys were necessary in order to drive myself and my sister and my parents, friends, kids to school every day because we lived far away and there was no more uh, bus that was easily accessible. So it was the only way for like a bunch of us kids to get to school and I drove. So I thought this this punishment made punishment made literally no sense. So I took the other spare keys on that Monday and just drove everyone to school because I'm like, what, you, no one's going to school? I don't think so. This gr grounding makes no sense. So, yeah, that's me being a smart ass. Anyways, let's paint a teacup. Oh. She was not open. That's that's why. Did you hear that? <laughs> like shot out. This Martha Stewart paint is thick. <laughs> okay, we're gonna paint a teacup. Someone asked if I had a Tamagotchi. I did. I would never let it die. I also had a Digipet. I I had more Digipets than I did Tamagotchis for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna try and make the teacup line up with the snake, but I have to use my, uh... oh, do you guys not know what Tamagotchis were? Does anyone remember? Just Google Tamagotchi and, and you'll see. It's like uh, this little egg that was a keychain, and you would, it was like a, a digital game, but you had to keep it alive by feeding it and like letting it go to the bathroom. I don't even remember. It was so weird now that I think about it. I remember with some of them, you had to like clean up their poo or was it change their diaper? Actually, now that I think about it, it, it it's like some weird indoctrination into like training you to want to have kids or something. Or maybe it was just like taking care of a pet. It's so strange thinking back, but I was obsessed with it. My digipets and I wanted them to live and I was so mad if someone fucked with them or if like I had to go check on its status during class. <laughs> a gigapet, yeah, a gigapet was the other one. A gigapet, a digipet, a tamagotchi. They were all pretty much the same thing. Tamagotchi means small egg. Okay, well, that makes sense. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Okay, so I'm gonna paint a teacup. The beauty of acrylic paint is you can do a really rough outline first and then we'll fill it in later, but I just kind of want to get the shape down. So now that I have my basic shape, I can go back to painting it in the direction that makes sense for me. What was everyone's favorite boy band from the 90s? NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, O-Town, <laughs> 98 Degrees. Hanson, oh my God, <laughs> I remember Hanson. The Hanson Brothers. Mbop, nap, no, I do. Up, give me no, what? Mbop, nap, but I what I do. Yeah, yeah. That's all I remember. See how acrylic paint is so forgiving? I can paint over the same area so many times and it's not gonna get mad at me. So yeah, if, you, if you're ever painting like a little object or a symbol, I recommend just playing with some acrylic paint. And you can do that over top of a, like a base coat, like a regular nail polish. Eiffel 65! Ah! I'm blue, abba dee da ba da ba dee da ba da Good times. Uh, my favorite boy band was probably Backstreet Boys, but I remember when they were rivaling NSYNC in later years. I also feel like I confuse them sometimes, like their songs. <laughs> I had pictures of both of them. Which Backstreet Boy? I feel like the first Backstreet Boy I thought I liked was Nick, cause like, you know, the blonde, beautiful, whatever. But uh, eventually I decided that Kevin was my favorite. <laughs> cause he was the more like mysterious one. Ben said Joey Fatone, that's from, N he's from NSYNC. Comment uh, your favorite Backstreet Boy or NSYNC member. Chumba Wumba. <laughs> I remember that. Tub Thumper. Anyone remember that song? I get knocked down and I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. Yeah, I have a video of my sister and I dancing to that. Maybe if I get her permission, I'll play it for you. And yes, I was that girl who had posters of the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. Not necessarily covering my walls, but I did cut out their faces and make a scrapbook. And yeah, hashtag free Britney. Of course. Oh my God, that's awful what I've heard. Her testimony, I did listen to it. It's just insane that that was allowed to happen to the extent that it did. Um, yeah, I she is in my thoughts. I'm mostly glad that the media and just the general public is now finally seeing like a lot of the damage that we also kind of collectively did just by, I don't know, making fun of her or buying tabloid magazines or buying into a narrative that was 
said about her that wasn't true and that was just mostly hurtful so I'm also glad that is kind of happening it has been for like the last few years but now if you ever doubted it like now you know so I saw even Perez Hilton uh, like apologize to her although it's kind of late for that but yeah it's crazy she was definitely one of my idols growing up I did a lot of dance recital songs uh, to her music. Remember her, I'm a slave for you. Na, 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 na. That song with like the snake she held. Uh, I had a dance recital <laughs> to, that, to that song when I was like 12. So Mr. Teacup needs a little bit of definition. So I'm gonna go back in with some white acrylic paint. Hold on. Yeah, the I'm a slave for you song feels a bit different after after the conservatorship news doesn't it so do all of her songs like the excuse me like the uh the lucky song too it's really sad looking back um but yeah Just joined, this is a vibe. Hello there, la petite pois. I noticed uh, your name because it's French. C'est en français. Bonjour tout le monde. C'est la soirée du nail art. De 19 mil... No, I forget how to say 1990 in French. <laughs> Fuck, my French teacher's mad at me right now. 19 mil... 70? No. Fuck. <laughs> Guys, help me. Who speaks French? <laughs> okay. Anyways. We're giving definition to the teacup by doing some uh, white acrylic paint mixed with a little bit of blue, maybe. Hold on. I'm mixing in my tray. How's that? Cat, 1990. Right, because 80. Wait, isn't 80? 80? 90. Oh no, 90 is 90. Duh. Man, like this was drilled into my brain when I was in grade school, but 15 years go by, you don't remember. <laughs> 1990. Uh, when are you planning on doing the memberships, asked Veronica. I don't know yet. I have to like build up enough capacity to even manage the stream as is. And so far, my efforts of trying Nightbot to just help with automated messages like use hashtag paint with simply or reminders, reminders about socials or uh, whatever have failed because I don't even know how to operate AI apparently. So I'm not turning on memberships until I have things figured out and something valuable to offer. But I, I'm definitely considering uh, like doing members only streams just so I can have a more controlled chat and like actually answer more people's questions because right now it's a little tricky to do that. And then kind of do more uh, requests from members, which I think could be fun. So I am thinking of that in the future, but I'm not going to do it until it's 100% uh, ready but thank you for asking it's good to know that you guys are interested in that 
Okay, so here's my little teacup. I'm a little teacup, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. <laughs> See, I messed up a little bit with the light blue going too high, so all I gotta do is go back in, cover that with my dark blue. Much easier with acrylic paint. I'm gonna clean up the bottom here too. I think my teacup needs some steam though. Hot tea, baby. How do I get the details so nice? Um, practice, practice, that's all. Come on, kids. This is what happens when you're 32 years old. I've been painting my nails for 32 years, okay? So you get better with time. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do some steamy nail art. Uh, Karina says, Hassan collab soon. See you on his stream. Yes, uh, <laughs> thank you. For those of you who aren't aware, Hassan Abi, who is a streamer on Twitch, who I do watch pretty regularly actually, or have been since, since the American election. Uh, he reacted to me reacting to him painting his nails when I did my streamer's nail art video on this Main Simply channel. So he was live streaming, watching that video. Anyway, it's kind of like a, a paradox there. Uh, he did follow me back on Twitter after that, when he found out that I was a crime statistics analyst. <laughs> because he's been doing a lot of streams where he's been uh, like watching those psychology channels kind of review like murder and cases. No, Hassan's not here. I highly doubt that. Does anyone, do people know who I'm talking about? Hassan Abi? He used to work or work with the Young Turks channel from like a few years ago. He's a political commentator on Twitch. He also now posts his videos on YouTube. So they are on YouTube as well, but he's mostly known for his stuff on Twitch. And I turn on his Twitch, even though I'm not really on Twitch and just kind of lurk. Okay, I'm I see most people saying yes. It's totally different content than like if you're a Simply fan or you like beauty content, it's probably like completely out of your realm. Uh, but I, I find stuff out of my realm pretty interesting. Like I like watching political commentary and just seeing people with uh, opinions on politics, honestly. Um, I learn a lot through watching it. And it's kind of cool to see young people engaging in that, so. Anyways. If you don't care, you don't care. But if you want to see some guy streamer react to me showing him how to paint his nails, there is a clip of that somewhere on YouTube now. All right, let's give this tea some steam because we like our tea hot. Can I get some flames in the chat? Give me some flames. Flames? Fire, fire. <laughs> This is tricky. I need to concentrate. Oh, it wasn't wet enough. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> See, even if you're shaking, you can make it work for you. <laughs> And with the toothpick, you can just kind of crust off the edges if you went a little off. It only works if you have a glossy taco underneath or in this case, like a smoothie base coat that was completely dry, but you can kind of scratch off the acrylic paint. Look at that, that's our hot tea. And now you ready to see the snake drink it? <laughs> oh, 
This is my uh, 90s humor. Okay, before we complete our manicure, I think we need to add uh, something special. What do you think? No, not a glossy taco yet. Guess again. Hello. Oh no, wait. What if I do a unicorn skin on a snake? Cause that'll make him iridescent. Cause that's how a lot of snakes look these days. They've got that iridescent shine. I can't decide, hollow or unicorn skin, help me. Let's vote. One for hollow, two for unicorn skin, go. One for hollow, two for unicorn skin. I'm seeing, oh, I'm, I think unicorn skin's winning. Okay. I don't know why I switched cameras. It kind of makes sense that a snake has a unicorn skin. We should make like snake skin. I don't know what that means, but if, <laughs> got to make a snake skin polish. Okay, I'm gonna turn on autofocus again. Uh, come on, autofocus, let's go. So yeah, people are commenting that some snakes do have special skin skin characteristics. What is it, a sunbeam snake? Let's look that up. Just so people know what I'm talking about. Every time I see this picture, I see this picture so often because everyone shares this with me. Anytime there's like a new Reddit post <laughs> or a tweet that has this beautiful stylish snake. Oh. Damn, damn, she looks good. I mean, I fucking hate snakes, first of all, but this snake I don't hate. <laughs> I, I don't wanna touch it. It's like one of those things, you know, I don't wanna touch it, but it, it's, it looks beautiful. Too beautiful to touch. It kind of reminds me of like an iridescent holographic transparent film kind of like the Holo Taco collection boxes have, where it's see-through, so you can still see the color, the pattern underneath of it, but it does give you that hollow sheen. I wonder if snakes are wrapped in a hollow film. We should ask their manufacturer. <laughs> Something is wrong with me. <laughs> this is, this, how does this happen in nature? Only magic. Miracles happen. Okay, we're gonna take that off for those of you who have a fear of snakes. I don't blame you, but when they're hollow, I make exceptions. Okay, so I'm gonna use some cosmic unicorn skin. Oh no, I lied. Let's use lunar, cause lunar's pretty obvious and bright, and I don't think our snake should be pink. So this is more like a yellow tone, uh, but it does change colors depending on which base you use, so it really depends. But I'm only gonna put it on the snake. Yes, Ben, maybe one day we'll all evolve to have hollow skin. I invest in that technology. So yes, this is hollow taco lunar unicorn skin. It's kind of the yellowish one, but it, it changes depending on the base. And I'm just gonna go in over the snake only. Give him a little sparkle to his skin. It's 
so you can be bad and beautiful at the same time. That looks cool. Uh, Michael asks, is there an expansion of the unicorn skins coming? I don't know how many more unicorn skins we can do, guys. We already have six. There's not really many colors more than the six we already have, to be honest. I mean, there's like a few that are kind of in between the existing colors, but... It seems a little excessive, I would think, to do more unicorn skins that are exactly like this. However, I am looking into doing other types of formulas that involve similarly iridescent shifting pigments, although they might be in a different size or shape, if that makes sense. Okay, this was a trick question to getting me to spill tea on Hollow Taco. I ain't, I ain't buying it. <laughs> I'm not biting, said the snake. Yes, I'll get you a close-up when I'm done. Uh, for the tea mug, I say let's make the tea mug hollow because why not? And we're gonna give the tea mug some flaky hollow taco just to spice up the tea because what's better than hollow tea? Will there be a snake themed collection? No, guys, like that's just like, why would I do that? We're just adding a little bit. Hello. Just, just see that looks so much cooler. Just hollow makes everything a little bit better. Just adds a bit of dimension, like it was missing it, you know. Now it's like real pottery. Cute. The snake eye doesn't have a black dot. Oh. <laughs> I didn't follow instructions. Okay, hold on. I'll get you guys a macro after, of course. Don't worry, you're always gonna get that macro action when we're done. Uh, yes, this is the unreleased, the floor is guava on the other hand. You'll see that this week, in like a couple days. Just a little creme drop. Maybe we'll, we'll play with them on next week's stream. Okay. Half the chat is asking about Hollow Taco sneak peeks. You guys can't keep doing this to me while I'm getting caught off guard in a live stream. Um, yes, our anniversary is coming up. The Hollow Taco second anniversary is technically on July 6th. We're not releasing the anniversary collection on July 6th because we needed more time to get everything together because it's there's a lot to arrange. I'm really excited. I'm also still like working on it in terms of the pictures and the videos. So I'm, I wouldn't even be ready for July 6th. Uh, it'll be later in July. It'll be during our anniversary month, but it's gonna be pretty big and cool and different. It's not the same thing that we did for our last anniversary, which was the three flaky toppers. We're doing something totally different this year. It's highly requested by you guys, and I'm so excited, but I feel like it's too early. It's too early to talk about it, because then people get too excited too early, and I don't want to, I don't want to cause that drama, you know? I don't want to make you wait for that long, so. I appreciate your patience and your excitement. Okay. Um, now... 
We're gonna add a nice thick coat, a glassy taco. Can I get some tacos in the chat, please, to celebrate me figuring this swipe thing out? Look at me, professional streamer. <laughs> I'm just glad that uh, Night Nightbot isn't blocking the glossy taco. Thank you for all the tacos, everybody. Okay, now now we're gonna paint it on. So the glossy taco is always the last step. We gotta seal in the snake. Make him stop hissing. Make him stop hating on people. Imagine you could just put a glossy taco on people and make them shut up. <laughs> the next time I see a hate comment, I'm just gonna add a glossy taco to it. So a glossy taco will be absolutely necessary to add on acrylic paintings on your nails because acrylic paint will just chip right off. It'll come off with water. So you're gonna absolutely need to seal in your nail art with a glossy taco, a top coat of any kind. Um, preferably like a quick dry thick one, but generally speaking, you just need it to seal in the acrylic paint or else the acrylic paint's gonna wash off. It also helps even up the surface. Hi, hello. And always wrap the tip of the nail so you can make your manicure last because we want the snake to stick around. And yes, I know Holo Taco is still sold out of our glossy taco. Uh, you can use any glossy taco in the meantime. And of course, Holo Taco will update you guys on social media when we have that back. Menchi hair? Did I get a menchi hair in my nail? <laughs> it happens. It cannot be avoided. So I'm just cleaning up the edges here of the glossy taco. So I put it a little too far in my cuticle. Uh, I'm not teasing the glossy taco when it's not in stock. I don't mean to do that. It's just I just use it because I have it because it's good and I'm I'm sorry I realize that it's not in stock. It's not like I'm using it to uh, brag that it's not in stock. I, I just use it because it's what I need to use. Uh, I'm aware it's not in stock. I'm sorry. Uh, Super Glossy Taco is still in stock, but that is only available to U.S. customers for shipping reasons. Is this Super? Oh yeah, this is Super. I don't even... Sometimes I use, I use them interchangeably. Alright, now we're gonna seal the teacup with an acid coat of Glossy Taco.
And yes, I realize I'm all, I'm also teasing <laughs> Fuck. the cleanup brush. Uh, we've been working on it for a really long time now. It is getting closer. But it's one of those things where like I need to be using it to test it just to make sure it holds up over time. So I kind of like have to use it. <laughs> uh, it's currently not released, I'm aware. Add a mat taco. You know what, I think I'm going to. So let's let's take a quick look here at our snake and our tea. <laughs> I think it looks cute. It's a little, it's wet right now, so I don't want to squish my nails together at the risk of uh, hitting one nail with the other. But I want to ask you guys a question. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm trying out my streamer abilities. So I think most streamers would have set that as an alert, but I had to manually insert it with like a, a, I'm actually clicking on it to play. But I figured it out. You heard little baby simply, right? You heard the little, you heard the voice, like it spoke, not just me. I'll play it one more time. What do you think? What do you think? Do we hear her? <laughs> There she is. What do you think? Oh, okay, she's gone. <laughs> That's Poggers? Yeah. Yes, Pogs. We had those in the 90s. Does anyone remember Pogs, the game? Or those, those collectibles? <laughs> All right, so let's get you in a little bit closer. Let's see how close I can get this. There we go. We've got Mr. Snake with some lunar unicorn skin to give him a little bit of smark, uh, sparkle and then he's drinking his tea. So if you guys did a snake on your nails, I would love to see it. Don't forget to use hashtag paint with simply on social media so I can see. But I think he turned out really cute. I think, you know, if I'm if I'm going to say it, I think he turned out better than this little girl's in the book. Let's compare. Look at that. Simply taking cues from a 90s nail art book and I outdid it. <laughs> I beat the child. That's an unfair competition. Yes, I beat a little girl. Good for me. <laughs> I think it was a good call to put on the unicorn skin for sure. It definitely helps it stand out. Now we could add a matte taco, but I would need to wait for it to dry. So I think what I'm going to do is after stream, I'll add, a, I'll add a matte taco. It'll help bring out the unicorn skin a little bit more and it'll just make everything flatter. And then you'll see that later on socials. Uh, now let's name the snake. What's its name? Comment in the chat. What should we name Mr. Snakey here? Sussy, Jerry, Roberto, Dan, Greg, Jimmy, Dexter, Tana, Simon, Smarkle, Geraldo. 
the ex-friend's name. Well, we don't know the ex-friend's name. We just know that it was Adelaide's ex-friend. This is so slimy. <laughs> chaser why don't we call her ex bestie since we don't know the name of the ex friend it's just ex bestie okay this is mr ex bestie and now he's gonna sip on some tea And, oh yes, these are, uh, so the original nail art that inspired this was a little girl who painted the snake on her toenails. Yes, those are her toes. And I guess it's because it's like a, a joke because it's a snake in the grass. Because when you walk in the grass, uh, you see a snake. Ben says sniper snake. Oh my God. Yes, send that to sniper wolf. Simply snakey. Oh, I like this one better. Ex bestie. Like, like a snake. Ex bestie. <laughs> Philip to Snakeo. <laughs> Simply snake logical. Ex bestie. Sniper snake. Okay, now we're just making puns of other people's YouTube channels. All right. Well, I think she turned out really well. I'm mostly um, the teacup, I think, is the best part, though. Look at that little hollow tea. So what's everyone doing tomorrow? Is it school? Is it work? Tell me. Tell me all the things. Is it past your bedtime? You're gonna go page your friends? You have to work? You're sending invoices. You're sleeping. You have an exam. You're getting fingerprinted. Well, I hope whatever it is you're doing tomorrow, you have a good time doing it. Because it's a new week, it's a Monday, and uh, it's time to take on the week with the snake. I know I'm gonna have a good week. When I'm on a video call next week, I'm just gonna go like this if I'm not in the mood. <laughs> It'll be my subtle sign to, uh, you know, Sip the tea from the snake. I'm gonna go to my boss and be like, yeah, I don't have time for that, but check out my nails. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys had fun with our 90s books. And um, we're gonna do this again next week. Of course, on Simply Stream Sunday is now gonna be every Sunday. It's been four weeks so far. I've been having a lot of fun. And yeah, I'm glad you guys are too. And thank you for joining me live. But also thank you for watching later. If you're in the Simply Later crew, that's cool too. I know most people end up watching it on their own time, which is awesome. So don't forget to leave any comments for feedback about the stream in the comment section of this video after it goes live. Because it's, it's really easy for me to check the comment section. Uh, rather than just just the chat which goes quite quick but I really appreciate those of you who've been here live with me and those who watch later in the simply later crew so yeah thank you guys so much and don't forget to use hashtag paint with simply on social media so I can see what manicure you came up with share it on Twitter on Facebook on Instagram uh, and yeah I'll I'd like to share them but thank you guys and I'll see you guys same time, same time here next week. Same same time, same place, same channel. Prepare with your nails. Come naked. Sounds bad. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll stream y'all later. Bye.